Oh boy, it's another Attack on Titan video! <laughs> Hey everyone, Zandri Chia here, Wog1, and welcome back to the channel. Of course, as you can tell by the title, whatever I'm going to title this, I'm not sure yet, or at least the thumbnail, you know the topic. Today we'll be talking about if the anime of Attack on Titan, Shingeki no Kyojin, the season 4 part 2, can it rectify or fix the issues that were presented with, you know, <laughs> the final chapter of Attack on Titan, especially the recent eight pages that were added to the ending by Isayama. You know, that's the big question. Now, of course, if you're anime only, this video will contain spoilers, obviously, so fair warning. Now, of course, I did talk about my thoughts on the ending in multiple videos already, and I did do a video about a week or so ago talking about the additional pages and what I thought about it and why I felt they made the, you know, the ending, you know, worse, <laughs> at least. Like, before the additional pages, it was a 6.5 out of 10 for me, but with the additional pages, it dropped to like a 5, probably at most a 5.5. So, you guys can definitely check out that video to get my in-depth thoughts on why, you know, the additional pages just didn't, you know, cut the mustard <laughs> or cut the steak, cut the chicken. The turk okay, you know, you get the point. They just didn't work in actually enhancing the quality of the ending. So now it comes to question. Now that we've had the additional pages, the only major things that we have to actually wait on and hope can, you know, or at least hope on is the Attack on Titan season four part two, the final part of the anime. And can it fix the issues? So that's the question. And the answer is yes and no. Because, again, if you've watched that video I did last week, you would know that I said that even though Isayama, in my personal opinion, if he really wanted to make the ending as best as how he could have possibly made it while sticking true to what he wanted to do, I would say he would have needed 100 pages. But even in saying 100 pages, I don't think the ending would have been perfect. There would still be problems given that we'd still be staying in line with what he wanted to do. No, there's that. But at the same time... <laughs> I've also said that most of the issues with the ending, even though I acknowledge, I empathize, and in a lot of cases, I agree with the criticisms that persons have had against the ending, some subjective, some objective, I th honestly believe most of the issues stem from the fact that the ending lacks context. There are too many, there are more questions than answers coming out at the ending, and a lot of jarring things that are, you know, just thrown in your face, are you know you know their story beats like for example parodies getting destroyed that without context the illogical and easiest thing that viewers and readers are going to assume is that Eren should have <laughs> you know destroyed 100% instead of 80% Eren was right things are being contradicted especially our Eren field etc etc without context <clears throat> fans are going to assume the negative easily and the thing is even though the ending is bad it still stayed true to the theme of attack on titan to of presenting that you know conflict is something like getting rid of conflict and freedom and getting freedom stuff like that there's more nuance to it than that it's not just as simple just get rid of your enemies and you know that's it for all eternity you know human conflict will always persist I thought the ending stayed true to the theme, but it's just the presentation and execution and the lack of context and just overall, you know, pages to explore it and present it to us, the viewer, was the overall general problem that everything stems from. So, yeah. So again, yeah, the anime, yes and no, can't fix the ending completely. Now, in terms of the yes part now, as I said, if the anime manages to actually introduce or flesh out a lot of the things that Isayama um, kind of basically just rushed over with the additional pages at least then I think the ending can move from that 6.5 I felt before the additional pages to, <sighs> whoa, to like at least like a 7, 7.5 you know like a decent ending and this is what I mean so of course, Ymir, I know a lot of persons 
wanted much more from Ymir and given time then they could definitely explore Ymir's character a lot more. I'm not saying like you know six seven episodes but you know throw in like an episode probably at most two episodes uh, with stuff centered on Ymir because the thing is now with Isayama I guess no longer behind the manga um, he's now potentially in a less stressing role to potentially cooperate with MAPPA to change things um, about the ending. Not necessarily like change change, but at least add things to make the ending a bit more fleshed out. So that's what I mean. I mean, I've heard, I only got into Attack on Titan like a few months back. And I've heard persons say that, you know, Isayama worked with, with Studio Wit at the time to change things about season three. So it wouldn't be like something strange to the anime. So there's that. No. Of course, stuff like John and Mikasa, this is why I say the anime, yes and no, can fix things, but it won't be 100% fixed because at the same time, they could do add some additional material to flesh out the whole John and Mikasa thing, but to be honest, with whatever time they'll be able to work with, it won't completely rectify the issue. It's still going to be a bit jarring. But it might be a bit better compared to the necessary, like say the the manga. It's just it needs the context, it needs the build. I'm not saying John and Mikasa can't work, you know, but having them thrown at us by the end of the manga just so suddenly at the end there without no build up, it it, it doesn't work. It just easily <laughs> makes it easy to just subtracts points from Eren to me <laughs> and John's character. So it, it just depends. They gotta build up to it, but I don't think it's going to be 100% fixed for that. Now, the island getting destroyed. To be honest, as I said, honestly, my problem even isn't even the island getting destroyed, or Shiganshin, or whatever the case may be. It's really, as I said, the lack of con context and more questions than answers, because they could easily say that parties under the, you know, un well, even though his story is still around, but, you know, under the Jaegers. <laughs> became the next marley and then they were basically being you know assholes to the world <laughs> let's put it like that bluntly like that and then that could have been reason for the rest of the world to team up and get rid of them you never know <laughs> that's all i'm saying you never know so that's the thing and they could have easily even if Aaron did the whole 100% thing they could have easily said like eventually the island tore itself apart between the Jaegerists and the non Jaegerists and yeah so it's kind of like why, what I was saying um, in the comments of the last Attack on Titan video where I was saying like either the 80% or the 100% could have worked honestly it's just Isayama just didn't execute things properly with the 80% <laughs> so it, it's, it's really and truly that um so yeah it depends on the context the context for that really and truly um and getting more answers than you know than questions <laughs> so yeah that's really and truly it and of course by the end the the indication that probably time powers are still around which is like a major middle finger to you know what Aaron was trying to do from day one um i i think it depends on if they decide to explore the titan centipede and ymir and kind of not necessarily flesh it out 100 percent you know because even though we did a little stuff on it it seems in chapter 137 with the conversation between zeke and armin um it's still kind of ambiguous or left up in, to interpretation it seems but I would want to, I would want them to reduce how much they leave up to interpretation. Still leave a few things, but, you know, explore some things about it a bit more. So, at least by the end there, if out of 10 you'd read the indication that time powers are still around, like you hate it and it affects the story negatively like a 10 out of 10, probably can reduce that hate and how negatively it affects the story to like a 6 or 5 out of 10. So, yeah. So, at the end of the day, the anime can make the ending a bit better, at least. But I don't think it can 100% fix the issues. But at least if they decide to flesh out, you know, the story beats we've had 
with the with 139 specifically the additional pages and give things the right room for to breathe and it's not even just that now with the stuff that you're fleshing it out with they still have to make the right decisions because we could still <laughs> we could for example with the island potentially getting destroyed we could still flesh it out and it's still something that indicates that that would lead to person saying yo yeah we're still right Erin probably should have still killed 100 percent so yeah so it depends on the context they fill you know the room with at the end of the day but i i think it would at least give bring i think it would at least bring the ending back up to a 6.5 for me potentially a 7 if they handle you know fleshing things out properly with the right decisions but at the same time sticking to the theme of attack on time because for example as i said with potentially parodies becoming for example new marley or they introduce some different political disputes, political tensions that eventually lead to the war and destruction of the island. You know, anything outside of revenge for the rumbling, it would still st stay true to the theme. And I guess not, I guess, belittle Erin's whole this set of decisions so much, I guess. So, yeah. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. Can the anime actually fix or, you know, push the ending back up to... How you felt about it before chapters before the additional pages or do you think you can push it to a higher rating than that like a 7 out of 10 at least i still don't think it would be push it more than an 8 but <laughs> it is what it is let me know let me know what you thought about my thoughts and yeah happy to have the discussion with you guys in the comment section below like comment subscribe sanju cheer and i'll see you in the next attack on titan video <laughs>